How's it going? We're here for a post-game coverage with the State News. I'm Ryan Kriska. I'm Matthew Argelander. We've also got a special guest with us here. I'm Mario Sankofa with uh, Sports Illustrated Campus Rush. Covered men's basketball for the State News in the spring. Here to talk about football tonight. Yeah, you know, it's one of the more impressive wins I've seen by Michigan State ever. Their defense played one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen. Held Ohio State's running back Ezekiel Elliott, a phenomenal player, to under 100 yards for the first time this season. Uh, st snapped Ohio State's 23-game winning streak and just did it in a very impressive fashion. Held uh, Ohio State to just two touchdown drives with 32 and 6 yards that both came off of turnovers. And coming in, big question mark for the Spartans was quarterback Connor Cook. But Tyler O'Connor and Damian Terry played lights out in his absence. And D'Antonio's play calling for them was perfect. Yeah, you know what? Spartans, uh, you know, like D'Antonio said, or actually it was uh, Shadi Calhoun. They caught a break with the weather a bit today. Now have a kind of cook, obviously you can't throw like you would want to. But, uh, you know, both teams being forced to run the ball kind of played in Michigan State's, uh, you know, favor. Um, they got three and out after three and out after three and out. Um, definitely the best defense I've seen from them probably since 2013 at the very least. And, I mean, really, this is kind of why you don't bet against Michigan State. Personally, I didn't think they were going to win this game, especially after Connor Cook uh, sat out. But you know what? This is what Michigan State does, you know. They come out and they really show up when the going gets tough. Yeah, if you would have told me Michigan State was going to have a minus two turnover margin today and win the game, I would have told you you were crazy. This was just honestly one of the craziest performances I've seen by Michigan State. Dominated the ball, dominated the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. The offensive line was lights out. The offensive line pushed the running backs forward all night long and brilliant move by the coaching staff to go with LJ Scott and fresh legs late in the fourth quarter and it paid off. And D'Antonio said before this game, all the week coming up to it, that the team's goals are still ahead of them. And now after this victory, their goals and their dreams are so much more real. It'll be exciting to see what happens next week against Penn State. Yeah, if they can beat Penn State, they they'll face Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. And with two wins, Michigan State has a realistic shot at a playoff berth. Yeah, just a fantastic position for them. You know, they, uh, you know, call it luck, call it whatever. They beat Michigan, they beat Ohio State. And uh, yeah, now you're facing two winnable games, you know, turning between them and the playoff spot. So fantastic game tonight. And it'll be interesting to see where things go from here.